Hey Natalie, it's Melody. I am here in my sister's raw food kitchen and I'm going to give you a little tour of how we have set it up because as you know I'm an organizer um, just for other people who are watching and wanting to know my role in this kitchen. It's not the cook, it's the organizer. I'm going to start by the fridge. Uh, she can grab her vegetables and stuff and then she'll come over to her cutting area which uh, she has placed a board on top of her stove and she can pull her cutting boards out and has her, she has her knives right over here so when she's not cutting and she had this handy little um whoops hang on emergency I didn't mean to do that. Well, you're supposed to have a bowl under there. She has her seasonings, and right here, she, she does raw food classes, and so she can just grab her mixing uh, spoons and other utensils and put them on her counter, which I'm going to show you that side in just a minute. It's really cool. It's really cool also. She has the very deep cabinets, and so installing these slide-out shelves was like the most perfect thing. And she can read what's on top of her container of raw foods. So she has, uh, we put the meal stuff here, flakes, then all her nuts, which she has a lot of nuts, and her seeds. Now she is not completely raw, or should I say her family is not completely raw. Um, her children, and, and herself at times will eat uh, some warm, tasty, healthy foods also. So she has beans and rice and then some cereals for her kids. And there's also some more um, mixture of raw and vegan, like some pastas. All organic, of course. She, she's, she's a little bit of a health nut. And um, I can't say this over the years, actually, gosh, quite a few years now, we have reset up her kitchen as she um, learned new things and tried new things from organic to vegan to raw and has incorporated these type of foods into her lifestyle. So we change it when she has a change because the kitchen's got to be fun and enjoyable. And it's one of her most favorite places to be. She loves creating food and she is very good at it. Okay, so the bottom shelf is going to be, let me make sure you can see this. Uh, we put down here all her storage bags, uh, wax paper or parchment paper, green bags, napkins, bowls, plates. Um, it's really not a, a very good access point even if you have these larger serving pieces and mixing bowls are perfect up here. So I'm over by a window. It's just gorgeous. We're going on over here. This is where she hangs out. And uh, my one of my favorite things is actually the little drink area, which there are some some cups and you know just make you a drink. Whatever you want is down here. It's really cool if you take the tops off of any cardboard boxes you have. Like here's her green tea, and then there's some, some coffee, which I love, and hot chocolate, that type of stuff. So this is the drink area. It's really cool. Cause make a drink, hang out in the little, and I call it the little bookstore, uh, but the sitting area, and access to water is right here. So she has a very versatile versatile kitchen. She can work from both sides. So let me show you what she does on this side. Okay, she actually gives raw food classes in her home. And this is her side and the guest will sit on the other side. She has her equipment here. Uh, her choppers, food processor, blender, all that's right here. And now these baskets are actually 
arts and crafts for the kids. And what happens is she can completely remove these. And then she has a shelf where she can bring her ingredients, any mixing bowls she needs. Uh, whatever she needs, she can empty, well, empty these two and have them as backup. Um, so she doesn't cover her counter space, which that's just freaking awesome. It's brilliant. So here's another angle of the kitchen. And I just want to point out these black cement countertops. She replaced the regular thin, whatever it was, on top of here, and had these nice thick counters put in, and she extended them so that she could have a much larger workspace, which is really cool, and rounded the edges. And this handy little dehydrator um, does a lot of work in this kitchen, and it's always fun to have some little tasty crackers to nibble on, so that's where I look for the crackers. Okay, let me talk about the sprouting. Right here next to her sink, she has this foldable, it's actually a dish rack, but she grabs her jars from the drawer down there, fills them up with water, with whatever seeds and water, and sticks them here, and she has two layers of uh, space that she can do that with. And then she drains it, rinses them, and pops them back up here for sprouting. So it's really cool. When she's done, she can just fold this up and it goes down next to where the cutting boards were. So very convenient. Okay, you have to see her badass seat. Yes, baby. Like nice, deep. Yeah, it's awesome. And you can see her counters coming around up here. Anyway, that's that's the hook up there. Saffle is her name. Thank you, Elizabeth, for giving everyone an inside look at your kitchen. It's fabulous. Bye. And we just have it by mills and then by flakes and nuts. And my sister's back. She's going to hear that honking in the whole video. She's got okay, so going to start over by the fridge. So whenever she... <laughs> the stove area, which is... Okay, y'all got to go. Okay, back up. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all for you, sir. It's not, you're doing good. It's just that light. Did you um, restart it? Okay, got that cleaned up. But she can. And there's Elizabeth. Say hi. Elizabeth. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> I'm doing a practice run. Oh, Mamma mia, let me go. Adios. I had fun making the video over y'all. Now I'm going Konnichiwa. to um, run away. Bye.